Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 where I did notice that we leveled up to level 37. Jeez, we got four points for doing that. Um, blah, what should we do? Tactical cloak. Could do the fire one power. Or should I do fitness? Weapon damage bonus. Increase health and shield. Shoot, man, that's difficult. Mm. Let's see what decoy. I kind of like that one. Like a destructive decoy. Let's do that. Okay. Or overload. Increase power damage. We can't do that one. Okay, we could do hit one additional target or just increase the damage. Incapacitate weak organic enemies for a short duration. Uh, increase damage to barriers and shields. Huh. Or we could save up. Almost the proximity might increase the damage. Maybe we'll work on proximity mine. Wow, ooh, that's nice. Increase, not that, not that they ever run out of ammo, you know? It seems like, anyway. Dude, I don't know. Maybe I'll just save up for Turian Rebel. is difficult. He doesn't have a whole lot of like extra uber duper great abilities. Concussive shot's my favorite. Um, maybe we'll do We could, the lift grenade has been very useful. Yeah, let's increase your grenade capacity. All right. Yay! Okay, can we save? Okay. Is that a med kit? Yes, give me. Anything else? No? All right. Let me get in. Let me in. There's an achievement for like breaking open the mech face and like uh and uh like entering it. Yeah, sort of. You have to 
be like super on target with this. I can't see. Oh, okay, I see. Shepherd, watch your ass. You coming in behind me? Where? Oh. tell where the enemies are when they fire at them from the top. Otherwise, I'm just kind of like, I don't know. Oh, whoa! Nope. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Oh, shoot. Even though I had such low barriers. Hey, Commander, the Normandy has pulled the cruiser out of position. We need to leave now. Okay, there isn't anything in this room, right? Let's go. Let's get out of here. I was worried that like Kaylee, this how's would it coming? be a bad place. Are unlocked. Take the controls and get the students aboard. Wait, where the hell's Rodriguez? 
Yeah, somehow she got left back there. She needs covering fire. She needs more than that. <laughs> I was really worried we were gonna we were gonna lose it there. And we were gonna lose somebody, but But we did it. We saved everyone. Joker, we flew out on a Cerberus shuttle. Watch your fire. Right, I've got you on sensors. Should just be a minute. Thank you, Commander. We'd have never gotten off that station if you hadn't come. Forget that. We kicked some ass. Next place we dock, you're all getting inked. My treat. That's expensive. <clears throat> what do you guys want? Ascension Project logo? Glowing fist? Maybe a unicorn for Rodriguez? <laughs> Screw you, ma'am. I can't believe we got them out alive. I was going to suggest that they stick to support roles. But perhaps they're ready after all. They they only were support roles when we were in there. You know, they didn't they weren't in the front lines. Well, they're definitely ready, but the Alliance needs them in a support role. What? We trained for artillery strikes. We don't need another artillery unit. We need stronger barriers for our frontline squads. This is bullshit! Hey, if that's where they need us, that's where we go. Besides, I'm sure we'll get some shots in. Commander, we've got a visual on you now. Preparing to dock. So hey, if you romance Jack, that kind of sucks. Uniform, or are you just getting the officer's bars tattooed on? Screw you, f flight lieutenant. Nah. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> Jack promised to watch your language in order to maintain the necessary professionalism we need from our teachers. Does she have a swear jar or something? <laughs> if we empty that thing, we can afford another cruiser. Cover your ears, kids. <laughs> hey, Joker. They should have said it. She said worse before. <laughs> uh, yeah, I tried to put Jack in it. But that's the funny thing. is like, we need necessary professionalism. But then it's like, except, you know, she does not look like a professional. Anderson! Damned if you aren't a sight for sore eyes. Good to see you too, sir. Sir? Oh. I may have reinstated you, but that doesn't give you permission to go all formal. <laughs> then I'm glad you managed to keep your ass alive, Anderson. Yeah. That's more like it. Looks like you didn't waste any time getting to work. Nope. I can only imagine what would have happened to those kids if they'd fallen into Cerberus' hands. Nothing pleasant. They're definitely eager to help. These students are some of the best humanity has to offer. And we're throwing them into battle. God damn it, I hate this war. Hackett didn't mention in his report. Kaylee Sanders is safe. She's Hackett didn't mention that? Thanks, Shepard. When I heard about the attack, well. You would think the, the faculty personnel friends. would also be on she the list. She asked to tell you to stay alive. <laughs> Did she now? <laughs> well, Shepard's like, oh, Shepherd, God, I hate, whoa. <laughs> that might be the first good news I've heard this week. Anderson out. Uh, no, actually, it'd be kind of just funny. It's like, he's like, ho, ho, ho. It's like, oh, buddy, I'm playing the intermediary. Yeah, you're great. Great. Ooh. Well, we got a bunch of new toys, and let's, uh, let's see what we got on the, the thing. Honored and third marine. Yeah, yeah. Biotic students th from the Grisham Academy have joined. Okay. Kaylee Sanders, nice. Right, right. And David! Yay! Yay! Alright, so he's included in the Kaylee Sanders. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, uh, new? Still? Oh, yeah, Jack! <laughs> After helping Shepard destroy the collectors. <laughs> She'd make a great mom, Jack. She really would. I mean, she would give her kids everything in the world that she could, you know? And she, she is, what she's doing. Well, maybe we should go to the Citadel.
birds don't quit when things get ugly. I'll give them that. Don't be rude. Make sure you talk casual when their commander's around. Well, let's go see if anything's changed with everybody. There is a certain point where I won't be returning to the Citadel for a while, so... Gotta get Citadel stuff done. So Jack's an instructor? I guess anyone who messes with biotic kids gets turned into a small stain on the floor and ceiling. Ooh, and that was so yeah. cool in the academy. Man, that must have been like Christmas for her. Yep. Anyway, nice job on getting them out of there. Thank you. They were throwing out some impressive biotic power. Good. We could use some heavy hitters in the biotics department. It'll be good for them, too. Biotics face a lot of discrimination. Maybe if they save the galaxy, people will get over their issues. <laughs> I didn't expect you to be sensitive about that. Hey, I'm just tired of them stealing the spotlight from people with actual disabilities. Yeah. I break ribs if I sneeze too hard. Being able to move crap with your mind is not a handicap. That's a good point. It is good to know that Jack has thus far survived the Reaper invasion. I have been using memories of her attempts to insert additions into my report <laughs> to the elusive man. Most of them centered around inappropriate uses of the word cockpit. Yep. Hello, Shepard. Hey, <laughs> Jack, uh, Jack's always been a creative one. Let's see if we can't poke trainer. Maybe we'll kind of try to do missions that let I us read meet messages up. Messages at your private oh. terminal, Commander. Thank you. I just got word. Everyone from Grissom Academy has arrived safely. We wouldn't have known about them if you hadn't caught the distress signal. Yeah. Nice work. Thanks, Commander. Commander. Dang, I feel bad. Thank you, from Stephen Haggett. Oh, from Kaylee. Hi, Commander. I didn't have time to thank you properly after you got out of the Academy. Admiral Hackett agreed to send this your way. While my students are out on duty, I'm doing what I can to help with the Crucible. It's an amazing project, more advanced than anything I've ever seen before. Some of my more tech-minded kids are staying back to help out, too, and watching them work. It's the future, Commander. This project will inform human progress generations, and they'll have you to thank for it. All my best, Kaylee Sanders. All the best to you, Kaylee. Improved combat, weight capacity, and Paragon Renegade bonuses. Uh, they're not, they're not always. The last two power upgrades in a tree. Friggin' one of them, like, turned my friggin' turret into, like, a rocket launcher. It was great. Viara. A new notification is available on the private messages terminal. Yay. It was odd to see an entire academy just for oh, biotic yeah. children. Don't Asari have biotic schools? Every Asari school includes biotic training programs. It's basic education. Still, those children in the academy were very impressive. I'm sure Jack's proud. <laughs> oh, yeah! David, you won't get this for a while unless you find an extra net connection working on Earth. I've made it out of this weapon we're building. The device isn't even halfway complete and it's the most breathtaking, piece, complicated piece of technology I've ever seen. I wish you could see this thing we're creating. It gives me hope. Take care for my sakes. Paul from Kaylee to Jack. Gonna be long. I got crap to do. You got one of the L3 X1s? Blah! <laughs> yeah, thanks. Let's see, Jack likes Kaylee. Hmm. So, Liara's trying to take notes on conversations with Javik, and it's not working out so well. Apparently. See, I know how to get Kasumi's, but she won't join us either. One of the worst parts of this war is watching the kids react. If they're lucky, they grow up thinking the galaxy is basically a decent place. Some rough spots here and there, but for the most part, life makes sense. Now they find out it was all a lie. They wake up to see these things in the dark that just want to destroy everyone they ever cared about. If they survive, there'll be a lot of angry orphans out there looking for answers. You know, I was an angry... Shepard was an angry orphan, you know? Well, maybe not angry, but she was an orphan looking for answers, and... 
Hmm. Life just wouldn't have been complete if I didn't see her <laughs> one more time. It's nice to see she's downgraded from dangerous lunatic to mildly insane. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to admit, though, she did see through Cerberus back in the day. Yep. I might have even listened, but her tattoos gave me a headache every time she walked into the room. Her tattoos! Uh. <laughs> Looks like we beat Cerberus again. Do you think the elusive man fires lieutenants over failures like this, or just lines them up against the wall and gets Ew. it over with? Morbid! Morbid soldier humor. I wish they had had a Grissom Academy for Turians when I was growing up. Always wanted to learn how to paint. Now I mostly paint walls with Reaper blood. Not the same, but it's a living. Garrus wanted to learn how to paint. Later. All right, Garrus. <sighs> that's that's cute. <laughs> See if uh, Chakwa says anything. Nothing to report. All right. All right, all right, all right. This is quiet zone. This is, I think, I think Shepard would have at least this window open. You know what I mean? I don't know. Nobody comes in here when she's in here. She probably gets more traffic to her room than she does when she's in there. That's what I'm thinking anyway. I'm currently waiting for my lunch to arrive and I'm just can't wait, can't wait. I'm starving to death. I'm trying to think of like my shotgun. Like I think I, I like the shotgun I have. So many little things to remember. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. Yeah. She is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. The ship was a spacefaring vessel before Edie even existed. Engineer Donnelly is correct. The Normandy SR2 was completely spaceworthy prior to my installation. See, Edie agrees with me. Edie's mind and the Normandy are a whole entity now. You couldn't just move the processors in the AI core to another ship. Engineer Adams is correct. <laughs> Processes that contribute to my self-awareness are spread throughout the ship. See? Edie agrees with me. But unlike Edie, our brains couldn't have existed without our bodies. That is a requisite from being organic. You have to look beyond that limited definition of life. Joker pilots the Normandy. He doesn't take over Edie's body when he does that. This is a very when interesting... Ship, and it just I can totally see Donnelly like and Joker. Adams getting into this. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. And I think no, she... I ended up choosing, I, at this point, I, I kind of consider Edie and Normandy separate because I have a different relationship that, that I that I have with Edie than I have with the Normandy. Um, but last time I did choose to side with Adams 1 because he is the senior officer and I had to show solidarity with my senior officer so Donnelly does head doesn't get too big. Um, and two, I liked that Adams brought up that you have to look past the limited definition of life that Donnelly is utilizing right now. So I think I'm still going to side with Adams because I, I like that part specifically. The passenger in the Normandy, just like us, the ship. Edie can direct the Normandy with her thoughts. She sees, hears, and feels through the ship's sensor arrays. The Normandy is her body. I've seen Edie's body. And its curves are fine. They are not! The Normandy's, Normandy's curves are much sexier. So what do you think, Edie? Are we more than our thoughts? I'm done. <laughs> Any more of this and my head's gonna explode. Oh, I love it. Uh, I like that Shepard asks Edie what Edie thinks, you know? And she says, are we more than our thoughts both times, no matter what you say, so. It's interesting, it's interesting. Whoop, let's go poke Diana and see if anything good will come of it. Breaking now. City of four million blasted from orbit. Adelaide, Australia is no more. New footage from Earth reveals the Reapers' plans to attack large industrial centers. Which cities are next? Find out inside the battle space. Okay, this is the thing. This is the thing. This is one of the reasons I really, really dislike Diana is because you hear like she's like, "What's next?" Blah, blah, blah. She's so freaking monotone. She's reporting deaths in the millions. And she's so monotone, and she's like, find out next time. Like, not even, she's like, find out next time in the battle space. Like, she's so monotone. Like, there's no emotiveness. Ah, 
Javik! Javik, where did you go, Javik? Where's my map, Javik? Where you at? Sup, deck stair- Why are you in the stairwell, Javik? I wasn't even gonna go downstairs. Yavik, stop creeping around in my ship, Yavik. Oh, are you gonna take a, cause we just, we just saw Jack. Commander, I was exploring your ship. Find anything interesting? This space has absorbed much anger. The biotic in Yeah, yeah, okay. Right, these were Jack's quarters. Traces of her pain are still present. I'm told she sought revenge against Cerberus when she was here. A goal you helped fulfill. I hope you will do the same for me. At least I have better quarters. <laughs> she chose these quarters. During our fight against the Reapers, we had no time for teaching the young anything but war. Only yep. the foolish mourn the loss of innocence. It is inevitable. The galaxy has never rewarded the naive. Innocence and naivete aren't necessarily the same Commander. thing. Innocence, it's important to protect that, too. There will always be some loss, but I think every, it's like it's like that bit of childhood that you'll never quite lose, you know? At least that's the hope, anyway, for most people, I would think, is that there's a bit of your childhood that you just, you hold on to. The imaginative, creative aspect of being a child, you hope you don't lose that as an adult. Oh, I certainly hope I don't. Uh, Cortez, how's it going? Cortez, Cortez. Are you at, buddy? Cortez? Where are you at, man? Oh, are you? Okay, you're fixing the shuttle, alright. Everything okay with the shuttle? Just double checking the inertia dampener coils. It can be twitchy in these UT 47s. But don't worry, this bird's been rock solid. I always see you down here working your ass off. Ever take any downtime? I get my sleep, Commander. Flying tired is nearly worse than flying drunk. What about your waking hours? Any R&R? &R? Yeah, that's important, man. I need man. to keep myself busy. Otherwise, well, too much time That's to also a good point, but... I appreciate your dedication, but I don't want to see you burn out. I know my limits. I wouldn't take a chance with your life. It's not about me, Cortez. So before this war, you must have done something to relax. Sure. I remember back when the Hawking was based out of Arcturus and I was just a fighter jock. There was this observation deck overlooking the main flight paths. You could watch every ship taxi in and out. He has beautiful when I was alone, eyes. I'd turn off the auditory emulators and just watch them drift by in silence. You know, there are views like that on the Citadel. Next time we're there, you should take some shore leave. Clear your head. I don't know. Maybe. Do it for me! Take some time off on the Citadel, Steve. As a favor to me. If you put it that way, how can I say no? <laughs> you can't. <laughs> I like the female and the female shepherd's relationship with Cortez. I like it a lot. He helps her get through some pretty tough times, and he she helps him, and then later on he will help her. Like it just sort of works out that way in my head. A jack is a mean sob, but kind of hot. Nah. <laughs> If you like that sort of thing. <laughs> She'd eat you alive! So, Anderson and Sanders. That's quite a couple. I know, right? Huh. My dad's last name is Sanders. No relation. He just throws that out there and we never have... We never, that's like the only tidbit we get on his dad. Hey. 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 I need to bring James out too. He's funny. I like James. Ah. <sighs> Well, let me check out my new stuff. We got dish the N7. We got the breather helmet and the mnemonic visor. I like that one. What is it? Ooh, it does the power damage? I do like that. Takes away another health boost, though. We got the. Yeah, I don't like the castle one. Maybe the Ceres. Ooh, I do like the Ceres. What does it do? Does Power damage. 
I do like, I think that's the one I did before actually, but I don't know. I kind of want a health boost. Might go back to that. What does this do? Does the melee damage? I do like the buff arms though. They look really cool, but I don't do melee a lot. I can go back to those and use the headshot and weapon damage. What does that one do? Weapon. Weapons damage. Mm. All right. I like the look. I like the look. I think I'm gonna actually change the lights color to a blue. Reminds me of the Normandy. Let's do that one. Hmm. no point in going over well, let me look at the viper what was I was buying the viper I'm using the viper anyway viper and particle rifle we'll get we'll get some particle rifle upgrades other than that I mean I think I can't remember now who who all is using what uh, particle rifle. Uh, well, maybe I'll go play with them on the Citadel and see what I like. That's everybody. We've we've talked to everybody. Okay.